X is, is vowing to, to fight on, Elon Musk vowing to fight on with vision that it wants to remain up on uh, the social media platform. Are you for that or against it? I'm for X obeying the law and I'm not for the actions and the statements of our East Safety Commissioner being ignored. We back her 100%. In government, we introduced the Online Safety Act. We want to see age verification tools put in place to prevent young people accessing both sinister and also really awful images on the net. And the government needs to progress that. They, for some reason, have stepped back from that age verification. But politicians, I think, are united in being very, very concerned about what our young people see online. And for some young people, there's no problem and they can um, accept the context in which they see something. But for others who are vulnerable, uh, it simply is not... Mm. Uh, it, 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 it's not safe and so I'm really disappointed with the approach that Elon Musk and the way he's taken over this company and it's just a free-for-all and it's not fair and it's not right. But he argues that fine if you want to mute it here but we should have no rights to be able to tell X what to do in its own country or other countries beyond our borders. Well, that's patently ridiculous. Of course we should. And that's why we have an e-safety commissioner who has the resources and the evidence to understand what damage these images and this content does. There's always that balance between free speech and some of the content and the hateful, insightful, awful messages and images that people see and that's why we have somebody like Julian McGrath in that position to do that dedicated work and we all need to focus on it parliament needs to parents need to it's such a topic of conversation at the moment I'm a, a great a, a user of technology Pete I love technology I love the way it brings people together I love the way it connects people but there is a dark side and we have to be careful and we have to be vigilant